Hi, welcome to my review of The Dark Knight Rises, a film I've been highly anticipating for four years, and now it is finally here. Okay, so The Dark Knight Rises, directed by Christopher Nolan, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, director of right now. And uh, and as and as and as and if you don't know, he's the director of Inception, all the Dark Knight films, Batman Begins, uh, The Prestige, Memento, following uh, his first like flick he ever did, um, and Insomnia, uh, a, a wonderful director, uh, totally amazing, uh, just everything he does. I I you know it's it, I would describe probably his worst film being Insomnia, and I still consider that a very good film. And, uh, and now we have, of course, Dark Knight Rises. And you know a lot, a lot of the, a lot of times, and this is with a lot of Nolan films, with me at least, it takes a few viewings to really appreciate it. And you know, same way, you know, Memento, uh, for instance, I really it's, it's a film when I first saw, I really liked it, and then I came back and saw it again, and I absolutely loved it. And I watched it again, I loved it even more. And eventually, you know, it's it's probably one of my one of my favorite films. Uh, same way with Inception. Now, uh, Inception, I remember coming out of the theater and and thinking, wow, I saw something amazing. But there was something that, that just didn't quite, I guess, sit well with me. And I, and I, couldn't, really I couldn't really describe it. I, I, I just didn't really know. I wasn't sure on it. But uh, long story short, it went on, Inception went on to being one of my, probably one of my favorite films ever. And... I feel like the Dark Knight. It's it's the same feeling I got when I came out with the Dark Knight Rises. It's not like Dark Knight or Batman Begins where I came out going, you know, just like, you know, like wow. Although I and although there, are, you know, I, I I was like that, but it wasn't like the same wow as um as the Dark Knight. So, I uh, I watched it. I watched the film. I saw it. In, I saw it at a midnight screening, and there there are parts that I. I'm completely head over heels in love with uh, one of the scenes. Not to spoil anything, is the the first fight scene with Bane and Batman, and that whole entire scene, my mouth was wide open and I was in shock. That scene was absolutely stunning to me, and just and the fact that the there was no music playing, there's no there's no score. It's just all you hear is punches being thrown. Bones being cracked. It, it is just such a a gritty, gritty, gritty scene, and it had me on the edge of my seat, and I loved every second of it. And it's weird too because I wasn't sure whether to to get up and clap and applaud and, and cheer because you know Bane is being uh, you know he, he he's he's perfect. There's there's not a flaw to him. He's he's a perfect character, and and I was like you know they they're doing him. They're they're doing him absolute justice by him uh, being in, uh, interpreted this way or whatever, and, and, and so I wasn't really sure. But there's another part of me which I which I you know, I won't spoil, but you can just probably guess what I'm talking about if you've seen the trailer. There was another part of me that was going, oh no, one of the greatest fictional icons of all time is being crushed right now and destroyed, and I wasn't sure whether to to weep or cheer, and that's something that. I've really never experienced before in any film, and and I think that's that that shows what kind of strength what kind of strengths uh, Nolan has. You know, he's he's a phenomenal filmmaker, and this is probably out of out of all the films that I've seen in in, in all of Nolan's films, this might be one of my favorite scenes of uh, of all time by by him, because it, it's such it's such a great scene. And I mean, there's more scenes like that too. There are other scenes, and you know, a lot of the scenes I think that revolve around uh, Tom Hardy, who is just amazing uh, as Bane. I mean, he is just—he's stunning, honestly, to me at least. And and, and this is my opinion. I, I would I would actually say he challenges Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker, and, and I mean that. And. Because I mean, in, in the fact that you know, for me to for me to literally to, for me to be stunned by something, it, it, it says a lot. Because I'm I'm hardly ever you know I, I mean I've, I've I've watched a decent number of films and I've seen you know a lot of a lot of great stuff, 
but I've never, it, it takes a lot for me to, to sit there and just be in awe in something. And Tom Hardy really did that. Now, will he, will he get an Oscar nod? I'm not sure. But the fact that he is, you know, wearing a mask and, and the fact that you can't see his face, uh, or at least half his face. You can only see his eye. You can only, you can only tell by his body language. And, uh, just wow, you know. There's some other great performances, though, too. I know Christian Bale does an awesome, has an awesome performance. Uh, Michael Caine, another. I could actually see him being uh, get, getting an Oscar nod for, for Best Supporting Actor as well. I also want to mention how great Anne Hathaway is as Catwoman and Selena Kyle. She is great. Like, she is the definitive Catwoman to me. You know, she's sexy yet sophisticated. And she's everything Catwoman should be. Cinematography. Even the, there, there's there's a gripe, and this is I guess I'll explain more more of this later. But the cinematography, it's amazing. It's you know Wally Fister doing doing what he does best, which is uh, cinematography. It's he's he's always top notch, always. And uh, I can't wait to see this in IMAX. I will be seeing this in IMAX at some time soon, and uh, I'll probably do another review, updating uh, my thoughts on the film. As well as the cinematography, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna name some negatives I have with the film, and these 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 are some of these are more of a nit, are more of nitpicky. They're not really flaws, but there are flaws in this film, and, and I can't really justifiably say that there are flaws because I've heard that there's plot holes in the film. I didn't catch any because part of, part of the reason, which is which is going to be a negative right now, but not really a negative towards the film, but a negative to maybe towards my theater because I. Well, anyway, I'll just get to that right now. Uh, some of the some in the the film, and this is in all Batman. This is in all the the Nolan uh, Batman films. Is that there are cheesy one-liners, and I can't stand that. That that bothers me. That actually takes me out of the film, and I just like how could Nolan let this go through? That's what I don't get. Mother negative is some, some of the pacing's a little different. It's not the same. It's it's not like Dark Knight where the pacing is really quick. I actually felt I actually kind of felt the time, the three hours. Then again, I had to had to pee during the film, and I didn't want to get up, so that might have been why. But I, I feel like the pacing is a little slower than Dark Knight. It's, it's not as fast as Dark Knight. The pace is not bad. I'm just I'm just noting that. Um, but but here's here's the main thing, uh, the sound. I, there's there's a lot of times I and surprisingly Bane was okay. Like I mean he had a few there's a few moments here and there I couldn't understand what he was saying. But that's because of the sound though. The sound was like it was odd because some I don't, I don't think the sound was set up right because there was too much bass. Sometimes when a character would whisper or they would like speak kind of, you know, in a low volume, I could not understand what they were saying. So and that was a big problem for me. Because I wanted to know what was going on, and, and I was I was actually struggling to somewhat keep up what was going on because I just could not hear. Uh, eventually, I was able to catch up because you know you see what's happening on screen. You're like, okay, I get what he just said and all that stuff. And you eventually had to learn to read lips. So that is a problem, not with the film. I would say right now because Nolan is known, or or his team is known for doing uh, for having great sound. Uh, honestly, you know, Oscar worthy sound. You know, Inception is one of them has phenomenal uh, sound effects sound mix and all that uh, and another thing and this is this is my this is my gripe with my theater and I noticed I've, I've been noticing I've been noticing this for some time it's way too dark like the screen it's it, it's 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 weird because it's so it's so dark I can't really see what's going on, on the screen sometimes so I don't know like I, I just feel like it's not bright enough that again my TV I don't know I'm used to watching you know movies on my TV where it's kind of it's set to a nice little brightness to where um, I can actually see what's going on. I can see the whole picture and everything like that. But anyway, I do plan on seeing this again in IMAX. I'm highly looking forward to it. I actually didn't say anything about the plot. Uh, I don't think I really should because, well, you know, if you if you don't know what's happening now, then well, you know, just help. You know, go go in with a fresh mind. Go in with uh, if if you if you haven't seen a trailer, if you're one of those people that do not watch trailers and you want to see this film, uh, you'll probably have a better uh, experience than I did actually because uh, trailers, even though the trailer didn't give you anything, I still felt it was slightly, not, I wouldn't say spoilerish, but you see too much. I'll just put it that way. And that's the way I look at it. Maybe somebody might see it differently. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to give my rating. And this is something I actually had to sleep on. Like I, I was going to originally do a review as soon as I came back from the theater. I decided not to do that because I, I felt like I needed to sleep on it. It's, it's like I said, like I said earlier, it had the same effect as Inception, where I came out not really sure what to give it. 
you know, uh, I was in between four to four and a half to five, and I just really could not decide. And and, and, and I'm talking about Inception right here. Uh, and then I come, and then I came back and give it a five. I look at, I look, you know, back at it now, and I, I'm, I'm completely in love with Inception. Like I said, Inception's one of my favorite films of all time right now. So, as of now, and this, and I think this will stick. I'm pretty sure it will, because the, the more I think about the film. The more it's growing on me, and the more I'm thinking about it, and I just I just can't get it out of my head how much how much I loved parts of this parts of this film. There's some parts that I, I didn't love as much, but there's some parts I really really loved, and uh, I got to give The Dark Knight Rises a five out of five. And also, I want to mention is you know this is a, this is something that you that you rarely see. You know, you see perfect trilogies. You know, you, I mean, you see like you know trilogies that are based on books and novels, that kind of stuff. You know, like Harry Potter and uh, Lord of the Rings, and there's some other trilogies that, that I'm just I just forget to mention, but whatever. Uh, the Dark Knight, it's based on a comic book. They're based on graphic novels, that kind of stuff. But it's not. The, you know, these movies are not the graphic novel. They're just you know they take similar ideas, they put it into the film, that kind of thing. This is something that's very rare. There's only one great trilogy I can think of that's not like a group of novels or anything like that, and that's Star Wars, the original trilogy. And even that, the last film of the original trilogy, is slightly debatable. Rises, however, is a great film. Is it as great as Batman Begins and Dark Knight? Well, I think it falls a little short from Dark Knight. Just a little bit. It's different. It's a, it's a very different film. It's it's apocalyptic. It seems a lot darker than the other two. But personally, uh, Dark Knight. If I if I had to say which one's my favorite right now, I'd probably still say Dark Knight's my favorite. Although I really, and I mean, I really really love Batman Begins. I was watching that again uh, to just get ready for the uh, for for Rises and everything. And I forget how great of a film that is. It's just it's so it it's it's such a Batman film. You know what I mean? It's it seems more like a Batman film to me than Dark Knight for some odd reason. But not that saying that's that's a negative to, to Dark Knight or anything like that. I'm just saying, but this is definitely a great film and a great trilogy. And I would go as far as to say, if I had to pick, if I had to say what what what's what's a perfect trilogy, I would say right now is the Dark Knight trilogy. And this is, uh, you know, this is this is a this is this is truly uh, a huge uh, a huge achievement, it really is, because you never see this ever. Uh, and some people might say Toy Story. That's 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 different. That's that's you know, Dark Knight's a whole different you know thing than Toy Story is. So uh, I think that's basically all I have to say. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, and uh, go see Dark Knight Rises. One thing I forgot to mention was how emotionally driven this film is. If you're going to go see this film, just know it's not as fun as Dark Knight. And I mean that not the sense that it's not a fun film, because I had, I had fun watching it, don't get me wrong, but it's a very, very, and I mean very bleak film. It is not a happy film by, by no means. And there's a few parts in this film... I was I, I got I got pretty misty eyed actually. Uh, I never cried, but I got misty eyed. And a lot of those scenes revolve around Michael Caine and, and Bruce, and just a lot of stuff like that. And I got somewhat emotional when I heard the Dark Knight theme come on, and I saw Batman for the first time in the theater after you know four years because it's so great kind of seeing that character back on screen again because you know he is you know uh, uh, you know this this great character that I really really love and I'm a huge fan of. So. And that's really it. And uh, for real this time, uh, go see Darna Rises, and thanks for watching.